the motorsport industry is increasingly exploring hydrogen as a potential solution for zero emissions racing, as hydrogen offers the advantage of producing only water as a byproduct when used in fuel cell vehicles powered by green hydrogen. Now, while there is momentum behind the adoption of hydrogen in motorsport, significant challenges still remain. This video delves into the current state of hydrogen adoption in motorsport, the hurdles that need to be overcome, and the advantages of hydrogen as well as their potential applications in different motorsports. So what are the problems and challenges with hydrogen in motorsports? Well, there is still some uncertainty about the widespread adoption of hydrogen in racing. You see, the main challenges revolve around cost, safety, and technical optimization. Fuel cells which convert hydrogen and air into electrical power are complex and less efficient compared to battery electric vehicles. Additionally, there are limited commercially available options for hydrogen propulsion in motorsport, with Toyota being the only major manufacturer to demonstrate the technology in a racing setting thus far. But there are some advantages too. The interest in hydrogen stems from its potential to address sustainability concerns in motorsports, with the impending ban on new petrol and diesel vehicles in the UK by 2035, and the need for zero emissions motorsports is growing. Hydrogen and battery electric vehicles are the two main approaches to achieve this goal. Hydrogen offers advantages over electric vehicles in endurance racing as it allows for faster refueling and offers a range comparable to conventional internal combustion engine cars. This makes it an attractive option for long-distance, cross-country rally trails and endurance racing, where EVs may struggle with limited battery capacity and long charging times. Now, hydrogen as a fuel source is being explored by various motorsport disciplines. Mission H24, a joint venture between Green GT and the Automobile Club, the Aust, has been racing a hydrogen fuel cell car in the Michelin Le Mans Cup series. The project aims to improve the competitiveness and reliability of hydrogen cars. GCK, known for its electric off-road projects, plans to retrofit the Dakar-winning Peugeot 3008 DKR with a hydrogen fuel cell. Extreme H, an offshoot of the Extreme E series, is also set to introduce hydrogen-powered racing prototypes. So we will see some hydrogen-powered Dakar cars soon, which is pretty cool. But why is all of this taking so long? Well, there are some challenges. Weight and hydrogen storage are significant obstacles for hydrogen vehicles. But batteries have the same issue. The batteries also need to be kept safe. If they get punctured, it can be catastrophic. And they also weigh a whole lot. Now one thing with hydrogen you do need to worry about is packaging and cooling hydrogen effectively. Moreover, costs remain a stumbling block as hydrogen infrastructure and components such as tanks and catalysts are expensive. The production of green hydrogen requires substantial resources in infrastructure investment. However, industry figures believe that establishing a hydrogen infrastructure may be easier than building an electric charging infrastructure. And there are many, many new companies and ways to produce hydrogen cheaper in a green way. They just need to be scaled up. So is there really a future for hydrogen in racing? Well, despite the challenges, industry experts remain optimistic about the future of hydrogen in motorsports. Almost all of the Japanese manufacturers are heavily investing in the technology. China is doing the same, and some German manufacturers are also busy looking into developing cars around the technology. And with good reason. You see, hydrogen offers emotive factors such as the retention of the internal combustion engine sound, which appeals to racing enthusiasts. Remember in racing, the fans are super important. We love certain races specifically because of the cars, the emotion the sound invokes in us. When you stand next to the track and you can feel the engine vibrating your insides as cars fly past, it's insane and so cool. Then the drivers. When you drive a car with an internal combustion engine, you need to learn the car. You almost create a bond. You know exactly how to get the most out of that specific engine. You know the engine so well that a slight change in sound can tell you that something is wrong. Sorry, I am very passionate about this and I'm pretty sure I'm not alone. Let's talk advantages of developing hydrogen for racing. Despite the challenges, there are several advantages and potential benefits that make hydrogen an attractive option for motorsport. And let's get into some of them. 
economic benefits. The adoption of hydrogen in motorsports can have significant economic benefits. It can drive innovation and create new job opportunities in research, development, manufacturing and infrastructure sectors. Additionally, it can attract investments and sponsorships from companies interested in supporting sustainable initiatives, leading to further economic growth within the motorsport industry. Also, it can help retain jobs. Engine builders and tuning shops can keep their doors open if the internal combustion engines still exist. Then, knowledge transfer. The development and implementation of hydrogen-powered racing cars can foster knowledge that can transfer between the motorsport sector and other industries. Lessons learned from designing and optimizing hydrogen systems for racing can be applied to other areas, such as the automotive space, aerospace, and energy sectors, accelerating the overall advancements of hydrogen technologies. And then lastly, public perception, which is pretty important. By embracing hydrogen as a clean and sustainable alternative, the motorsport industry can enhance the public's perception and it can position itself as a forward-thinking and environmentally conscious sport, attracting a wider audience and appealing to younger generations who are increasingly concerned about climate change and sustainability. Ultimately, the adoption of hydrogen in motorsports represents a significant step towards sustainable and environmentally friendly racing. It aligns with the global shift towards cleaner energy solutions and helps to address the environmental concerns associated with traditional motorsports, whilst making it possible to keep the excitement of race cars alive. As the industry embraces hydrogen, it has the potential to inspire innovation, attract new fans and demonstrate the viability of zero emission technologies and high performance racing. Now I'm going to end off this video with my opinion. Fuel cells are cool, but for me racing has always had sounds. I've loved cars since I was a little boy. And I can tell you what car goes around the track just by the sound it makes, the number of cylinders it has, whether it is turbocharged, supercharged or naturally aspirated. And if I saw a car and I had no idea what's under the hood, I would go home and research the powertrain. A love for racing and the love for engines go together and you can't really take one away from the other without losing a massive amount of fans. But let me know down below what you thought of the video and of hydrogen in motorsports. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Um, I know it will be more difficult to use internal combustion engines powered by hydrogen than just fuel cells. But I feel like it's worth the extra investment and effort just to keep the fans happy and to keep that whole aspect of racing alive. I mean like F1 won't be F1 without the screaming engines going down the straights. Um, NASCAR, you would never be able to watch NASCAR without the rumbling V8s going around the track. It's just... It's something that is necessary in racing, in my opinion. I don't know if you agree, if you disagree, let me know down below. And if you agree, you can also just let me know. Yeah. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll most probably like most of my stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.